Hey everybody and welcome back to Minecraft. Uh all right. A few things have changed in the world and the big thing is I actually looked up recently what actors had died. And it was more like oh, this is actually really interesting or I heard that a few people died. I didn't know who died or when. So these are actually I'm going to go to the uh Oh, uh, okay, where are the signs? I think I left them over. Yeah. I've been working inside the world that you'll actually see notice. One thing, if you remember, that thing finally got built. I just made a giant weird diamond thing. Another thing, he's gotten a lot taller and I'm almost down the bedrock. So, there's that. And there's a few caves down there. One second, I'll show you. Um... Yeah, these are all filled now. Not much along the lines of construction got built, except for this, really, and the diamond. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a slime down there. I'm gonna kill that slime. How many? No, I don't have any iron down here. I gotta be careful because there's a lot of dark spots where uh, spawn like they can spawn in. So I gotta be a little careful of how I take care of shit. Let's go, bitch. Come on, let's go, bitches. Come on. Oh yeah, you can't handle this. Yeah, you can't handle it. Yeah, you can't handle my shit. Yeah, you can't handle this shit. I'm gonna use you guys for leads. Or I actually might just show you guys a quick achievement anyone can do. As you can tell, this is going all the way down well, it is going down the bedrock. Which means it's to the bottom of the world, and I'm making it go all the way to the top of the world. That being said, I not only want, not only can and will, there's going to be one block so you can jump all the way down, down to bedrock, and hit a slime block. This will let you bounce all the way back up. So, uh, one big thing I added in our some more uh, roads over here and got this one out so I can build over here you will notice over here there's a lot of soil missing especially right here where I bet someone's spawning nope no one's spawning but yeah right here I'm trying to get this gone because I'm gonna turn over here into a farm nice big farm over here that way, I don't have to keep running all the way over there for food and coming back. All the way over there and coming back. So. Eat some mutton. Mm, mutton. Um. This is going to be episode 24, so. I hope everyone had a nice Thanksgiving. No, not nice. No, Halloween, sorry. I'll get my holidays mixed up. Yeah. Uh, something I noticed today while I was in the store. Um. But not a lot of Christmas shit this year. Alright, here's something else. I did this because I want still want trees. Um, I cleared out... Oh, yeah. I cleared out a lot more land. And wh the thing is... And you'll notice right here is the dead stop. And I made this one bigger because one giant building is going here. I've made three of these lots trees. That way I still have a tree line... And I put down some of the uh, bone meal, so this will all grow. All this. And oh, it actually good. grows in nice. Kill this cow. And it still feels like, oh, there's still some nature. Plus, if you'll notice, I made all these extra map holders. So when I go to get more maps, it will be really easy, really simple. And yeah. Um, down over here, we come right to the wall. Bam. So, this is the beginning of, a, this is going to be the beginning of a giant city. I already have Main Street. This is going to, I'm going to be making signs that say Main Street, like, I'll name a street after somebody, <laughs> anything like that. I'm thinking right here have, like, an apartment building. Kind of like that. I have like several rooms. I don't know. But the best part is 
we are right down this you can now clearly from anywhere see Jesus the trees before were like blocking him completely except for maybe just the top of his head right there so um, another thing is uh, this is on top of a mine a natural forming uh, yeah, a natural forming cave so ooh, I knew I had iron sitting around somewhere but yeah it just sits around and this takes me to the cave over this way which I actually had to mine a path to and this one leads me down over here which I haven't really explored so that this is new uh, other than that I've just been really and you guys have seen I've been really working at this I'm just clearing land mainly and I'm trying to I need to do some construction that involves like going moving out that way into the water because I have way too much dirt so all right I'm getting back on me yeah this is just a fun to me because it is perfect symmetrical all these are one and then the blocks on the end are two and the blocks on top are one. So, uh, just a little things. A big thing I like over here is the altar's still here, the boats are still here, and I'm already half about, uh, I won't say half, about a third to the, yeah, to the garden. So I'm almost there so I can go over there more often. But the big thing is, and the big thing today that I'm going to be working on, two things really, is one, sticking, oh yeah, and look at this, all clear. Before, this thing was all janked up, full of shit, and I made our path over here. So that way if I ever wanted to, I could just run across over here instead of over there. And I'm thinking about rerouting that over here. Because it will be a lot easier to go up right here, move one over, and then be able to have a break right here so I can go up to Jesus and come right in here. You'll also notice that I already put up the second floor of this. So, uh, last time you guys came in here, uh, you saw I put down Hugh Hefner. And I think I left. I got head back. I forgot the signs. And the sad thing is, you can see that thing, and you can start to, s and you're beginning to see the tower. Something fun about the tower that you guys don't know. I'm gonna be making a second one, maybe over here somewhere. And there's gonna be a bridge that just crosses and connects. And the reason I want that is because then, if anything happens, and I have to. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. Jump into there to get away from mobs. I can just go straight up and run all the way across and be so much closer to the house. Alright, and I don't need to go that way. Oh yeah, I forgot. So I gotta check in here. Holy mushrooms. And it's funny, I have... Oh, shit, not that one. Didn't need to take that one that one. I need to go into the <laughs> nether and start killing withers. Because either way, me and whenever Beansy gets on for me to play with, whenever he gets on, then we're going to go and try and take down the wither. <sighs> Excuse me. And I only need yep, eight. One thing is, if I craft one, oh, I can craft two. Okay, I made eight. Here's something fun. I just made stew. I have enough food now. The only problem is they're like buckets, and they take up a whole space. But you get to keep the bucket. I'm gonna head home. This in the morning. I don't want to fight the mob. 
mobs just yet. <sighs> yeah, if you notice my character up in the corner, and I'll show you when we get into safety. Alright, now that we're in safety. Oh, are you Bob, is there enough room in there for you, buddy? I'm sorry, babe. Here, one sec. Let me help you out here. I gotta go and find some... I need to go back over to the cabin... I mean, over to the manor and see if I can find an alpaca. There you go, babe. I'm sorry. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Owen, is he around? I'm gonna move these. Go. Oh. Come on, you four. I need you guys over here. Alright, I found a name tag. If you remember when we went into that mine, I mean, into that spawner. So I put it on one of my dogs. As you remember, black collar is Beansy. I haven't named the yellow one yet, but this guy in the center, his name's Luke. Oh, little Luke and little Beansy. If you look at Beansy, his eyes just stare forever. So, it's kind of natural. Right, close these up. What I got in here? Pork chops. So we find more pork chops in there. Chicken. Nah, we're going to stick some mutton in there. And over here... Frost walking boots. I don't need frost walking boots just yet. Um, nothing here I need right now, so. Go up, take a nap. I have anything in here? No. Oh, I also made a full armor set. Mmm, looks sexy, don't it? Reason being is, um, I found out that my other armor broke completely, like, just shattered. So, my chest piece, which had, uh, projectile 2, I believe got destroyed. So I'm saving up now so I can get fire protection on uh, my boots and all that. So the gas can't really hurt me. And here's the one downside to having this place now with trees. Monsters can spawn in here and survive in here because the trees act like perfect protection. Or not. Oh, yep. There's some. There'd be a skeleton. There'd be a spider. That thing's a hazard too now because then in the shadow he they they don't burn. Oh, you got an enchanted one. Did I get it? No. Fuck. I want that enchanted uh, Bowie head. I got your gunpowder. Ooh, you have some thread I could use and your eyes. Anything? No. Ground? Nada. Alright. That's the other good thing about having nothing here right now. I can look and make sure no one is watching me. So let's go put up these eight signs and then put a few upstairs because I know I'm not going to fill downstairs just yet. There's a few people who I actually remember, and a few people I, who actually, I'll just tell you when they come up. Okay. First, make sure this place is clear. Chickens in here. A monster. No monsters. Okay. I got one, two, three, four. Yep, three go upstairs. So the first person I have, um, a few younger kids might not who she, know who they are, who this is. Mary Tyler Moore. She actually had her own show way back when. She was awesome. I'm going to go Mary, Tyler. Well, I have enough. No, I'm just going to go like that. More. And then her birth year was 1936. She was an old girl. I and I believe it was a it was a woman, so if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I just remembered her from when I was younger. I don't I remember that name from when I was younger. Alright. 
and <sighs> you know, I'm just gonna go MTM show. There we go. That looks good. Right here. Then we have Bill Paxton. If you don't know who that is, Bill Paxton was one of the actors who actually was on Aliens. And another awesome film he was in was in Predator 2. So, he was really cool. And look, he's right there too. Bill Paxton. Now here's something sad. He was a little, he was a little bit younger than her, than uh, Tyler Moore. They, yeah, he was only, because uh, that's 50, 60, 62. All right. Aliens. I was gonna put aliens. There we go. Now he is all good. Next one. This one actually hurt. I because I didn't know him really. Uh, Charlie. Uh, Murphy. Um, if you hear Murphy, you're a lot of us Pete kids from. The 90s will remember Eddie Murphy. This is his brother. Yeah, and there he is too. And he was actually two years younger than Eddie. Which is kind of sad because Eddie's still up and around. And I remember watching Eddie uh, Murphy when I was younger, especially with uh, Dr. Doolittle. I didn't get to hear his stand-up till I was older. So, just because I didn't really... know what he did, I was going to do it like this. Because I knew his br I knew about his brother. Like, we all knew about Eddie Murphy. Um, this one, I kind of knew. I knew he was a singer and all that. And I'm going to have to cut his name up, too. Cuba Gooding. Let's see if that fits. Oh, it does. You know what? Let's see if I can fit fit it. And in case you guys are wondering, it was not the the, the son who died. Oh, perfect! I didn't even need the period. All right. Um. Yeah, his dad actually did uh, R and B music, a little bit of jazz. I never really heard his work, but I heard he was really good. And it's sad when you see like an artist uh, whose father passed away. Uh, singing, he was also singing soul. All right. Then the last one down here is someone who actually I watched a lot of, and you can find a lot of his uh, stand up on uh, Netflix and on YouTube, and. It was Ralphie May. Apparently he died of pneumonia. And he was lived on by uh, his wife and two kids. And I remember my favorite joke that he named his um, one of his kids April, June. Because then she wouldn't remember the month. It would be April, June, May. Even though it's backwards. No. Yeah, it's a little bit backwards. It was so funny. Uh, and this is going to be so mean. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, um, my favorite story from him was the time he had uh, c- um, Cuban coffee where he crapped his pants. So, yeah, it's all filled down here. We got Hugh Hefner, Tyler, Mary Tyler Moore, Bill Paxton, Charlie, my, yeah, Charlie Murphy, Cuba Go- Gooding Sr., Ralphie Mae. Then we have all the fictional characters from Harry Potter, including the man himself right there. Technically, I put the same man here twice. Uh, we have Sirius Black. And I messed that up. He's supposed to have died in 98, not 96. And I think that's kind of stupid because I also uh, put the actor right here. Alan Rickman. He died of uh, colon cancer, I believe. And, yeah. So, and he's right next to Robin Williams. So that's to me that's kind of fun and he's right next to another comedian who died uh, three years ago John Panette you can find his stand up one actually being the quote here I say nay nay and yeah so I'm actually thinking and how far over are these one and one okay I'm gonna Fill this with tombstones, and I will come back after this break. All right, all right, and we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, as you guys can tell, I am in the. Oh, I am sorry, something fell off my desk. I am in the G- great Jesus stronghold, and oh, cool! I can finally take a nap. Yeah, I got it done, and the moment I get done. What happens? Uh, a spider crawls in through the window, and I did not want to mess with it. Because I can easily take down a spider, but they're annoying as all get out. Bitch. See, I mean, like, they're just annoying. Burn, bitch. <gasps> oh, thank you, God. Oh, man, that was lucky. He could have done a lot more damage. And that spire could have been a little less dumb. So. I don't have any more uh, cobblestone. I'm going to have to go mine some really quick. Only take me a second, cause one good thing that I, reason why I left all this here was because not only can I mine it when I need it now, like right now I need it to not only repair the Jesus altar kinda <sighs> sunken ditches. Uh, I'm gonna ditch the egg. Sorry, Egg. I bet you could have been useful. But. Oh, man. I didn't see that before. Shit. I got a hole. Right there. And I have a spire up on the wall. Of course I do. Come on. Come on down. Thank you. Can I fix it from down here? There we go. Yep, I can fix it from down here. Good. Come on. There we go. And then just take these all out. There. As if it never even happened. Fuck. What can I drop? What can I drop? What can I drop? <sighs> Sorry, Gunpowder. You're important, but not that important. Plus, I can just get you by killing creepers at night. So... 
Okay, put this in, and now you're repaired. And now that was a dipshit move. So, take these, put them down. Where do I have my one there, one there, one there, and one around the steps? All right. So this shouldn't take very long. Yeah, I put a whole nother, like, crypt layer up here. There. Alright, hurry up, get this gone. And there you are. Now we can finally get to the top layer to, well, the next layer to see. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. And um, I saw a torch here. I saw a torch here. And it comes all the way up. No, it does not. It only has two. One, two. Shit. No, oh, well. Fuck it. Open floor plan. Just put a candle where I, a uh, torch where I can. Like that. And it's gonna look like full row of windows, no windows, that kind of thing, but oh well. Um, back to the, now back to the actual, uh, cemetery at, cem la la, the actual people in the cemetery. This guy actually, I knew who he was because I saw his shit. And he, his death was a while ago. Adam West. And I, I should put him in first because, hell, he was the first Batman. And here's the other thing. He was old. 1928 was when he was born. So, cheese and rice. And I don't know if he was a soldier in uh, World War II. Uh, the first Batman. Yeah, he was the very first Batman. And he was the voice of Catman, technically. And he was the mayor of Adam West in Family Guy. He will be greatly missed. Um, this guy, only real country, like, country music lovers and country music followers will know this guy. Uh, Ta Troy Gentry. Uh, Troy Gentry um, was the duo for Montgomery, like, yeah, for Montgomery. Uh, I forget what the full name is. But. Oh, my country. Montgomery Gentry, I believe they are called. But he was the second half of that. And um, to his. Uh, yeah. On the way to his. Uh, con the concert he was supposed to be playing at. The plane he was riding in crashed. So, and here's something spooky. They had just released an album, technically his last album, on uh, iTunes. And one of his songs, which I have on my iPod, is A, a Better Me. So I'm just going to go country... Let, let, legend. No, it doesn't look like it. There we go. Country legend. And last but not least, he was a great musician back then. Tom Petty.
I'm seriously putting in Tom Petty. He was a good uh, singer way back when. His greatest hit was Won't Back Down, which Johnny Cash then took and so many other people, and they flipped it around. Um, one big thing that actually they took from uh, Tom Petty was in the movie Barnyard. Uh, they had the Otis's father actually sing that song, and with the low baritone, he did it perfect, perfect. And I'm actually gonna put this down just because it's ironic. He bet he the song was I won't back down. He backed down. So there you go. That's Tom Petty. So, as you can tell, there's a lot more room here. It's not just going to be this few little bit that are right here in the cemetery. So, uh, okay. I don't know what to do for in our half hour. Ah. Uh, it's actually new. I actually don't have something, like, really planned. Maybe I could go into. Yeah, I think I could. I'm just gonna go into the Nether and uh, see if I can get some Wither Skulls or some more Blaze Rods. More Blaze Rods would be freaking awesome. Or there's actually something I want to show you guys. Something I've made to fight Beansy with. And more cows just spawned over here, so. Yummy. Alright, collect all that. Pig, you're mine. You're mine, bitch. Just, just lay down and die, guys. Come on. You're not gonna win. I actually gotta visit the farm, too, in the morning. So, oh, crap, I made a road over here. So, when um, I go wake up, I can go feed the cattle. Make them reproduce, and, yeah. I don't have any room to go on a nighttime fight. Jeez, and right, these cows are just appearing. And they're good. And they're slim pickings for experience. I need. A, I really gotta get higher in levels because I'll get to the skeleton on the roof. Great, he's gonna snipe me. Uh, the more uh, experience I get, I can actually get better upgrades and better enchantments on my weapons and on my armor. Speaking of enchanting armor and stuff, uh, I'm... Oh, another big thing. I trimmed down the chicken population big time. What the... I have this place lit up. That thing shouldn't have been able to get in. I have 31 stakes. Holy Christ. That's just... I'm a monster. Alright, go to bed. Ugh. It's hard being a simple farmer. And hard being a simple survivor. So. Okay, hurry up. Oh, I am. There's one thing I want to do. Still here? Yes, it is. Stick that there. B -b 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 stick these in here for safekeeping. Along with a mushroom. That. 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 Take him back, actually. Put him in here, him in here, him in here. You know what? Everything I don't need, I'll organize it after I get everything done. Right, put him there, put him there, map in the corner, wood in the corner, put him in here because I'm not farming shit today. Done. And my armor is all good for... He's dead, boys. He's dead.
Make me a pup. No, they won't listen. There's sheep somewhere. Hey, Luke. There's sheep somewhere. No, but there are two random wolves and three random wolves in there. How do I get these guys to sit? And Bob's safe. Alright, Bob's safe. Guys, come on. You guys gotta sit down. Sit. Come on, sit. Screw you. Protect the house, idiots. All right. Oh yeah, I made a trunk over here to hold other shit I don't really use or need. So. This is going to be a short one. I might just hold off because it says I only have like uh, five minutes left on the tape. So, um, oh yeah, I want to show you that thing. I said before I considered making my base underwater. Reason being is it's hard for spawns to get underwater. Or, in any case, to keep coming underwater and spawning under there to attack me. So, while I was underwater, I found something. And I realized something too. Yeah, I made a path all the way out here too, right here. If you look right where I'm standing, you're going to see something I built. All glass. All good. And here's the thing. Beansy doesn't know about it. He doesn't watch this. It's all dry. Oh, crap. I did not know those guys would be around here. Oh, apparently they won't hurt me. Oh, yeah, they're not hurting me. They might actually protect me. Hey, buddy. Yeah, they're not going to hurt me. So, yeah, because I did this this in uh, peaceful, so I didn't run out of food when I did it. But yeah, I have a little dirt patch down here so I can grow food if it gets bad. I also have a mine. So that's good, too. Um, so yeah, I have all of this here in case it's something we're going to, in case it's something we're going to go bad. So, actually, I want to make something really quick. Make this. Put it right there. Nope, come back up. I don't know what's down there. There we go. And, yeah, see, he can look at me, but he's not going to hurt me. They're attacking the squids hard. And the other thing is, I'm s actually in a little pocket underwater, so I'm on the ground. And the water is way above me, about three blocks ahead of me, uh, above me. So these guys actually will protect me in here unless Beansy comes through the front door. Which in that case, I just break some of this and put something right here so we can't get through. And they still, and they'll just come in and attack him. So, this is a good refuge, and the best part is, with this mine down here, I can go anywhere around the map if I need to. Anywhere. So, I think I'll actually cut it off here. I'll go back up, and, because it doesn't look like they're going to, they come this far out. It doesn't look like they come out, well, it's close to land, so. And I should have been more careful when I made this, because you can see one right there. But yeah, the, it, it's a perfect defense mechanism against him. So yeah, and the tower is coming along great, so he'll be done soon. <sighs> so, 
Uh, in the next episode, uh, I'm going to be going into the nether. I'm going to be dropping off a lot of my shit. And I'm going to be tackling the immense duty of going into the nether temple, I want to call it that, or the fortress, and getting all the gear I need and just taking it apart little by little. Literally going around and tearing it down because I want that nether brick so I can make houses. That's going to be one thing that changes in the next episode, maybe. Depends on how I feel about when I work. Um, because I'm thinking about adding a house here, adding a house, he or adding a house, hey, let me see something, Cause I, oh yeah, this is a smaller house, never mind, uh, I'm thinking about adding, like, a tower here, a nice tower, <sighs> excuse me, just, like, something nice, like, or something else, maybe a small house with bushes and a nice big backyard. Here I want to make something nice. Here I'm putting a house. Here I'm putting a house. Here I am putting that apartment building. That might be my next this might be my next project, making this big apartment and then seeing how the houses fill it up. Because over here if you notice the sidewalk comes around I don't know what to put in this big open spacey area and over here I was thinking <sighs> sorry excuse me I was thinking of something cool so thank you for watching if you liked it leave a like down below subscribe today remember if you want to get your name in the cemetery put your name in the comments and what you want your little shout out to be Thank you for watching and remember have fun playing in the dark. Audiomicro.com